Today I'll be only sort of unboxing a product that is truly unique. I've never seen anything that is exactly like this. This is an LG product. I don't know exactly what it's called. It's the N1T1, this particular model. So why don't we call it that? We'll call it the N1T1. And since I can't properly unbox it, oh, actually, why don't we leave this on here because that has some marketing information that I can tell you about. So the N1T1 is a network storage device. And I apologize for the box being open already, but this is a marketing sample, so it's kind of making the rounds, and I get to check it out now. Okay, so it has fast reads and write speeds. Okay, it's a network storage device. You can email your file through downloadable links. You can use thumbnail view to check your images. It's a print server. It's compatible with different operating systems, including Mac. It can be used as a torrent download server. Okay, it has a simple and easy user interface, a virtual disk library to store and manage all of your DVDs and CD files. That's kind of cool. Multiple user access, Time Machine supported, it's an iTunes server, and it is Energy Star 5. But that's not all. Wait, there's more. Okay, so here on the front, you see that it is... No okay, like, when I peeled the stickers off, the shipping labels, it took up all of, the, uh, all of the print on the box. So it's going to be very, very difficult for me to read this and show it to you at the same time. So here's what I'll do. Um... Yeah, okay, I'll just kind of, sort of, you might be able to read it, okay. So, it's network storage, that's cool, so it's got gigabit ethernet here on the back, okay. So you see that, gigabit ethernet right there. It's an external hard drive and optical drive, mini notebook friendly feature. So you can see right here, it has a USB port, and it also has a, yeah, well, a USB port. So it also has a switch right here. So you can switch it from NAS mode right there. Okay, let's see if I can get my camera to focus. Good camera. Okay, so you can go from NAS mode to external optical drive. You can see right here at the front, there's an optical drive slot that you can put optical media in. Okay, and then you can also switch it to external hard drive mode. So you can use that USB port to connect to a computer and use it as an external storage drive or as an external DVD and CD drive. Very cool. So it has a backup button right here. It has an eject button. Those are the two buttons there. Uh, here's a bunch of other stuff it supports, including UPnP, okay, DLNA, Time Machine we already talked about, public link, and system backup. Okay, so full system file backup and restore. It has remote access via internet, which is pretty handy for a NAS. And it's a multimedia system, so enjoy your multimedia content through your PS3 or to your TV or to your TV directly. Cool. All right, here most of this we've talked about already, I believe. And the back. Oh, that would have been easier to read, wouldn't have? Yes, yes, it would have. So let's open up this box and see what's inside. In terms of accessories, we've looked at the unit a fair bit already, but uh, we'll take a closer look at that as well. Okay, there's a USB cable which you will need if you want to plug it in via USB. There's a gigabit ethernet cable, which you will need if you want to plug it in via gigabit ethernet. There is a power cable, which you will need if you want to power the device. And there is a bunch of documentation, which you will want to read if you want to understand the device. Last but not least, there is a box. Aha, I found out how to open the box. And in the box is another okay, AC to DC power converter if you want to power the device properly and have it not blow up. Okay, so why don't we just have a closer look at the NAS, external optical drive, external hard drive itself. So it's got what appears to be a 40 millimeter fan here in the back. That's going to cool down the hard drive inside. It's got the power switch here. It's got that button we already, or the switch rather, that we already talked about. It has a Kensington lock. There's your USB port. Here's a little holder for the cord so it doesn't get, so if it gets pulled on or anything like that, it's not going to pull it right out of the jack. There's your gigabit ethernet and LG rates this thing at 60 megabytes per second read and 40 megabytes per second writes. There's an LG logo on the side, very nice, very slick. And then as I mentioned before, this is a super multi-drive, so it's DVD, CD, reader, writer. Okay, there's your backup button, there's your eject button. The data side goes here if you're having trouble with which way to put in the optical media. And then here is yet another summary of all of the different certifications and stuff that it supports, which is also here. To the top, it's got a nice glossy black finish on parts of it, and then it's got a nice glossy white finish on other parts. Thank you for checking out my unboxing of the N1T1.